that's talking about Bobby TV, guys, what we reacting to Candice Owen completely destroys gaslighter Ted Lau. Guys, let's get straight into this. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In congressional hearings, the minority party gets to select its own witnesses. And of all the people that Republicans could have selected, they picked Candace Owens. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. So I'm going to play for you the first 30 seconds of a statement she made about Adolf Hitler. I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned. With the face that Candace Owens makes right here after he's done playing that little clip out of context it tells you that this is where Ted Lieu effed up. F around and find out is exactly what's going to happen to Ted Lieu because our favorite pit bull Candace Owens is about to come out yeah. to play. Let's get back to it. Um, by uh, elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. All right, so my uh, first question is to Ms. Hershenoff. Ms. Owens said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? It does, Mr. Liu. I know that uh, Ms. Owens distanced herself from those comments later, but we expressed great concern over the original comments. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Owen, uh, Ms. Owens, I'm sorry. We just started a recording. Um, would you like time to respond to that? Yes. Um, I think it's pretty apparent that uh, Mr. Liu believes that black people are stupid and will not f uh, pursue the full clip in its entirety. He purposely presented an extract, an extracted witness, clip. The witness absent. will suspend for a moment. It is not proper to refer disparagingly or with, to a member of the committee. Uh, the witness will not do that again. Witness may continue. Sure, even though I was called despicable. Um, witness may not refer to a member of the committee as stupid. I didn't refer to him as stupid. That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all. You, you didn't listen to what I said. This facial expression right here shows you exactly how much Jerry, known as Nadler, takes his job seriously. Oh, what? You didn't say that? Oh, my, my bad. My bad. Keep going. Like, what the fuck? Get back to May I continue? Wait, please. As I said, he is assuming that black people will not go pursue the full two-hour clip. And he purposefully extracted, he cut off, and you didn't hear the question that was asked of me. He's trying to present as if I was launching a defense of Hitler in Germany, when in fact, the question that was asked of me was pertaining to whether or not I believed that Hitler was a, whether I, or not I believed in nationalism, and that nationalism was bad. And what I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. He was a homicidal, psychopathic maniac that killed his own people. A nationalist would not kill their own people. That is exactly what I was referring to in the clip, and he purposely wanted to give you a cut-up similar to what they do to Donald Trump to create a different narrative. That was unbelievably dishonest, and he did not allow me to respond to it, which is worrisome and should tell you a lot about where people are today in terms of trying to drum up narratives. By the way, I would like to also add that I work for Prager University, which is run by an Orthodox Jew, and a single Democrat showed up to the embassy opening in Jerusalem. I sat on a plane for 18 hours to make sure that I was there. I'm deeply offended by the insinuation of, of revealing that clip without the question that was asked of me. Thanks, Mrs. Owens. I <laughs> yield the remainder of my time. Gentleman yields back. Guys, I believe Candace Owen owned him, to be honest. Like, I don't see a reason why you do something like that. Like, more, like, he's trying to create, I don't know if he think she is stupid, that she won't defend herself, but like, he just can paint someone in a way that, you know, at the end of the day, you will look stupid. I have to put this out there, both women up. Like, I feel he, he demands that. I love the way he talks. He does not care if he's a president. He just wants the truth to be out there. Like, I love him. I love what he stands for. And I just think he's going to make America better. Like, both women up. Like, he, he's good. He didn't put tax on every YouTuber. 
I love Candice Owen because I feel she's someone that talks space. Um, she has sense, like she thinks logically, and she she's the kind of person that expresses herself in a way that she does not want it to go back at her. Like Jordan Peterson, they are protective of their name, so they they'll do everything right, you know, to tarnish their name. So you know, when you are hearing something from her, you are getting. I won't say the truth, but. Like, you are getting the truth. I will say the truth, but like, I believe everyone, everyone cannot be saying the truth at the same time. Like, but like, you are getting her true honesty. I'll say it. Yes, she gave you what she believes is true and she put it out there with her heart and her feelings. And this is why I love and support Candice Owen. But guys, I think what you think about this, that she should like, share, subscribe to channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.